Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. So, Batman is getting married to Catwoman in Ooh. Batman number 50. Wait, no. Could you explain? Is Batman marrying Catwoman or is Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne marrying Selena Kyle? Yeah, Selena no, Kyle? Bruce Wayne, Wayne is marrying Selena Kyle because Batman can't show up in a court. Except Superman is his best man. So I think it's Batman is marrying Catwoman. I don't really know. So what's, the a, what's on yet? the marriage license? Batman, Batman and, and Catwoman. Catwoman. Well, certainly the promotional materials say on the wedding invitations, Batman and Catwoman. So it's... Yeah, Batman just like... and Catwoman are not legally existing entities. I know. They're pseudonyms. I know. My assumption was that Bruce Wayne was marrying Selena Kyle. Hmm. But they're really burying the lead about this. Well, and so could Superman be his best man as Clark Kent? I suppose, except it would be hard to explain why Ace Clark reporter Kent. Clark Kent from Metropolis <laughs> is friends with this billionaire philanthropist. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's never done a story on him. Yeah, but, oh, and they became on. friends? They play racquetball together? <laughs> sure. That's You'd need to create that cover story. Has anyone seen Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne together for more than like one or two occasions? Uh, and it wasn't anyone... Clark Kent interviewing Bruce Wayne. Does anyone see... Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, or I'm sorry, I should say Bruce Wayne, doing anything other than, like, being at Gotham? No, they see, I mean, like, Bruce Wayne always has to put up appearances. He always has to, like, date some debutante or go to some ridiculous ball or function or, or, or you know, champagne smashing, boat christening or whatever the hell else rich people do. He's got to go to some ra- racquetball tournament or, you know. Polo derby. Yes, he's got to play polo. Squash. Not playing polo, Alfred. They so got someone's married. getting married. Yeah, Batman's name. Batman is getting married. Yeah. Whether he wants to call himself Bruce Wayne or Batman I mean, is going to be two ceremonies, like the real ceremony, the superhero, the cool and then, one, like, the and then the regular ceremony. one. I, I would like that too. I don't want that because the, all the guests at the superhero one were cooler like, and more fun. They're cooler, but you know, some villain's going to sneak in and ruin the entire well, thing. Well, the whole the whole suggestion is that is that the Joker yeah. has found out they're getting married, and so he's going to. Crash the wedding? Sure. Yes. And it's already... The, the wheel's are already in motion for that. Mm. The point is that now Batman and Catwoman have had their 50th issue and they're getting married or something. And, and it's a big brouhaha. But it's not the first time that Batman's gotten married. In fact, Batman has gotten married like a dozen times. Half a dozen times to Catwoman. And all what? of them being imaginary tales or stories oh, that took place before, oh. before Crisis. Yeah, that's right. All those IGN lists you see out there, Batman's been married a few times before. Yeah, like one time he got married on like the moon of Zartha to <laughs> Batwoman. Like, please. All right? There's a lot of different ways that Batman got married. There's, there's alternate tales. There's, there's future stories. There's one where Wonder Woman like speaks to a... Like a like a, a seer, and she tells Wonder Woman about like what if she and Batman banged, and shows her like all the possible futures that they could have, and in one of them they get married, or many of them. So like yeah, there's lots of different stories where cat where, where Batman and some woman gets married before you blow your load. Yes, exactly. But in, it's already happened. It's already happened. But in continuity, there is one marriage that did happen, oh. and that's the one in this one, which is <laughs> Batman, son of the demon. Don't want the cover of this book that says birth of the demon fool you. We know who it is, right? Tell y'all who? Yeah, it's Tell. Okay, you. yeah. I figured that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the collected volume that, en- that encapsulates all three demon books. The first of which is Son of the Demon, okay. which is written by Mike W. Barr with art by Jerry Bingham. This came out in 87. It was an original graphic novel, and it just told this really cool story about Batman fighting Ra's al Ghul. And it... Okay, right. Raz Al Ghul. Right. I grew up with the animated series. I call it Raish. Right. You can save your comments. <laughs> Son of the Demon is this like self-contained story, but it also calls back to previous continuity. Right. Uh, it takes place after Crisis, but Bar doesn't care. So he refers to a bunch of pre-Crisis <laughs> stuff, <laughs> including the marriage. Okay. Of Batman to Talia. In that story... So the marriage already happened. Yeah! But what's funny is, if you ever like look up this story, or look up like Batman marriages, they say that the marriage happened in Son of the Demon. Which is just wrong. Not correct. It took place in like DC Special Series number 17 or 15. Some like really old, obscure comic from 1972. In that story, Batman faces against Ra's al Ghul. He's drugged, and when he wakes up, he's married to Talia. Wow. And, yeah. And Batman's like, I don't recognize that marriage! And... Ra's al Ghul's like, oh, but you no, banged. But no, no, it's in my country, in the laws of my land. 
only the permission of the bride and her father are required for an official marriage to take place. And I officiated the ceremony, and I'm also a father, so, you know, you can get to banging. So then he locks Batman and Talia in a room together to bang, and he, like, knocks her out and then saves the day. <laughs> so, uh, Nice. But technically married according to the laws of, of some stupid freaking country yes. that we don't care about. But, yes, well, according to my laws, uh, <laughs> you also owe me all the money in your wallet for the ceremony. Like, it's... Uh, but that being said, uh, it's tech- Batman's like, I kind of like wish that I could be married to you because you're totally smoking and kind of a badass. Mm. But like, you know, justice prevails. Punch woman in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're the daughter a- of, uh, it's not even that. It's just like, guy. it's just that she, he knows she'll try to stop him. So he's just like, well, gotta stop you first. Mm. And you're like, mm. but it is like the time of James Bond. So you're like, I guess everyone who was reading it was like, right. As opposed to now, you're like, ooh, ooh. No, I'm just going to knock you out. Just preemptively <laughs> knock you out. Right. So in this story, Ra's al Ghul emerges from the from a Lazarus pit, mm-hmm. or from like really the earth yeah, itself. Yeah, from like a crack in the freaking ground. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he makes his way to further his you know, evil deeds. Because Ra's al Ghul, or Raz al Ghul, uh, <laughs> his whole thing is that he, he, at least at this point, his whole preference is that the world is like untouched and un, like un molested by humans and their bullshit Uh okay uh he's not like an eco terrorist but he does have a real problem with like us building shopping malls and just just raping the natural world Mm -hmm. and so he seeks to dominate the world and kind of like bend it to his will um so does he like, want to get rid of humans, or does he just want us to live in some sort of pre-industrial It's states? something like that. He's lived through it, so he's kind of seen what the industrial age has had to offer, and he's like, pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he, he, I I'd think rather ninjas. Sometimes he <laughs> wants to kill most people. Sometimes he wants to just kind of like change the world and force people to kind of get used to it. Mm-hmm. So it's really a question of who's writing him at the time. Yeah. And sometimes he, you know, creates a pyramid scheme or something. Right, yeah. Gotta get rich. <laughs> Though he also had okay, time to I form need, the League of Assassins. I need you to recruit two ninjas, and then those two ninjas will recruit <laughs> more other two ninjas. <laughs> and then you'll be your own boss. And then we'll have a, a billion ninjas in, like, no time. Yep. Yeah, but, like, guess what? Like, you'll be the boss of, like, so many ninjas. Yeah. yeah. That's how that works. So there's this cool warehouse in Gotham that is under siege by a bunch of bad guys with guns. Uh-huh. They're not quite technically, like, a street gang. They're more like an evil organization where they work for a higher authority. Not mm-hmm. God... Just a, a, a bad guy. <laughs> some sort of organized crime. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, so they are hijacking some chemicals, and C- Gordon already has the building surrounded by uh, by by cops. But so they, they're doing a bad job already. Well, they've already you know they've 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 followed the rules of the law, and SWAT's coming. No, I don't they're mean waiting. Gordon. I mean like. <laughs> the gang. Oh, yeah. The bad guys are like, oh, oh we've already bungled this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, they're waiting for a helicopter to come pick them up. So oh. they do have plans. And okay. they and it's it's a well-organized caper. That's much like GTA. Yeah. Hey, can you pick me up? Cops is right here. <laughs> Inside the warehouse, we're seeing what these crooks are up to. And when one of them uh, grabs a pregnant, recently married woman. Mm-hmm. Because it's an original graphic novel, it doesn't have to worry about the comic code and stuff. So, right. like, he go going rape her. Mm. And he's like, oh, you got yourself a baby. I'm going to give him some company. And you're like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa no. And then, like, she, her husband tries to intervene. They kick his ass. And then he's like, but first I'm going to mark you like all of us. Because they all have these, this mark of their boss. Mm. Which is a cue that's, like, etched into their cheek. So he gets, like, a C into her before he is stopped. Oh, shit. By Batman. Uh, Batman is awesome in this sequence. He basically uses steam and shadows to just beat the crap out of them. The gang thinks that the SWAT has come in. Now, like, there can't be more than a couple of them. Mm -hmm. And I love when Batman is beating up people and they think that there's more than one person. Right. You mean he Arkham Asylums them? He Arkham (laughs) Asylums them, exactly. (laughs) I think it's uh, a whole team, and it's one guy. It's one guy. Yeah. And uh, I, I just, I love how Batman takes them down, and the pencils are fantastic. And by mm. the way, same dude did the pencils, the colors, and the inks. Yeah, so this looks great. It, uh, it does. It's phenomenal. Uh, so, Batman takes them down, and he's got, it, it's it's down to Batman and the last guy. And of course, it has to be the douche who was gonna mm-hmm. kill and rape this poor woman. And, I need to save you for last. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if I do to you what... I'm going to do to you in front of others. Yeah. No, they're all there. They're all watching this. And then Batman is in front of this huge vat of chemicals. The dude gets distracted, gets rid of the chick, shoots at Batman, 
which sprays chemicals into this oh. dude's face and melts his face off. But as his face starts to melt off, he says, God damn you. <laughs> and Batman says, looks like he got to you first. And you're like, what? <laughs> so Batman just straight up murders this dude. Well, he arranges for him to murder himself. <laughs> Look, I don't have to save you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to kill you. I will let you kill yourself. I will yeah. let you melt your face I off will, horribly in front of all people. Like trick you into killing yourself. Yes, which is basically murder, right? So then the getaway helicopter shows up. So Batman has to go and kick their ass or kill them. Uh-huh. So Dunk gets on the roof, climbs into the helicopter, creates chaos. Dudes are shooting each other while they're trying to kill Batman. <laughs> the helicopter crashes into the harbor and blows the fuck up. So that's oh, that. <laughs> there. So Batman doesn't save them either. <laughs> Gordon's like... Wow, what the fuck? And by the Gordon's like, right on, less paperwork for me. No, I feel like that's more paperwork for you. No. A crazy person showed up and killed all these dudes. Yeah. Fair enough. A crazy person... How did you do that? I don't know. And you're like friends with. Oh, not on the books. Right. Well, how about this? Uh, uh, It went wrong. And uh, they just started freaking out. Right, exactly. And then it blew up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about Batman? I didn't see anybody. I saw these criminals... Hijack a warehouse and then all die. Uh, if I had seen Batman, <laughs> I would have moved in. Yeah, uh, absolutely. To apprehend him. Because he's a criminal from justice. Exactly. So uh, Batman goes into the drink along with these dudes. Yeah, you don't he... even see him get out of the helicopter. No, so, you know, but Gordon knows he's not going to yeah. die. So Batman comes out of the water. By the way, 87, it's post crisis. They're already building up this reputation of Batman being like a creature of the night. You know, mm. Dark Knight Returns already came out. Right. Year one is somewhere in the making or already coming out. So, like, you got Frank Miller's influence of him being this, like, urban myth. And him kind of being really on the edge of law and mm-hmm. chaos. Right. right. Batman and Gordon are chums. Straight up bros. <laughs> like, Batman gets out of the water and Gordon's like... All right, so let me get you. Let me get you into the crime scene. Have you investigate what's going on? So like, and the and so uh, the the medical examiner who's on the scene is like checking out all the crooks that Batman beat the living crap out of the ones that he didn't kill. Right. And Batman pushes the medical examiner out of the way of the crook, <laughs> wow. and he's like, "This pregnant woman needs assistance." And he's like, "This dude got shot. She <laughs> has a cheek wound." And he's like, "He's like that guy has rights." And she goes, "Yeah, but she has more rights." Because she has rights for two. Right. <laughs> now, Batman doesn't make that distinction, no. but I guess we can all extrapolate that. <laughs> but, uh, so the examiner is like, you're such an asshole, and then goes and does it. Yeah. And Fine. So, dab, dab, dab. Mm-hmm. Suture. Okay, can I... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably suits this version of Batman just yeah, fine. right? Oh, another one. Cool Batman, by the way. So he murders people, <laughs> or at least puts them in situations where they can die. Also, much more friendly... Mm-hmm. To, Gordon to Gordon and yeah. to his loved ones. But then also denies medical assistance to the people to, who need it yeah. so that they die. So it's this weird, like, be- like both worlds Batman. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, by the way, Batman Ooh. caught one while he was uh, saving oh. the helicopter. And Gordon's like, yo, dude, you should probably get that looked at. And he's like, I'll meet you later when we can go over the, you know, what the inventory of what happened here. I thought and, you meant uh, caught a bad guy, not caught a bullet. No, you caught a bullet. And it's... so he's swinging over the city and it's like pulling on him and he's like, oh. ugh. So he lands in an alley and he's like, I should probably just call Alfred and him picking me up. <laughs> and then he passes out. Oh, jeez. Just in an alley somewhere. And of course, he's he's having dreams about his parents being murdered and then mm-hmm. a bat chases him. The bat becomes Batman and it chases everybody. It's cool. Then Batman wakes up and he's in Wayne Manor. Okay. And uh, what was in the Batcave? That's, that's right. Which is under the Wayne Manor. Yeah. When Batman leaves the warehouse, you see the silhouette of like a, of a sexy lady who is watching the entire right. thing go on. Right. So when Batman wakes up in the Batcave, uh, he is met by Tali Al Ghul. She's like, "I found you in the alley, and I brought you home, and I yeah. dressed your wounds." And they immediately are like totally together. Yeah. There's she, no like. There's no established relationship where mm-hmm. it's like. No, I saw you Tuesday. No, it's more like, hello, beloved. Well, hello. And of course, uh, I'm half naked in my cave and I've got this beautiful woman here who rescued me. There's no way I'm not going to deny her, you know, <laughs> some uh, some love. And so they make out. Alfred shows up. He's like, right, beautiful woman. Knows he's Batman. This is par for the course. He's bringing down a... Uh, Here's your breakfast? Yes, exactly. And Batman's like, no time for breakfast. Uh, I got banging to do. <laughs> no, I got Batman to do. So he puts on his Batman <laughs> No, costume. that's what Talia says. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> So Batman's putting on his stuff and he's like, he's dressed for success. And Talia's like, 
you know, beloved, maybe you should probably like slow down. And Batman's like, no time. Justice doesn't slow down. Alfred and Telly have this great exchange where, you know, Alfred's like, please watch him and make sure he doesn't kill himself. And mm-hmm. she's like, I will, Alfred. And you're like, oh, right. I didn't realize that, ba- that Alfred and Tali had like this kind of relationship. I know that, t- that later on, Alfred and Selina Kyle would kind of have this kind of relationship, particularly in Hush. But uh, I think it's like Alfred likes any woman who will put up with Batman. Why wouldn't he? Yes. Yeah, like, hey, someone who can offer me an opportunity for retirement? Right. Taken. <laughs> so Batman shows up at Gordon's office with Talia. Well, as, I'm sorry, she is a well-known criminal. Oh, yeah, she's the daughter of the eco-terrorist known as Raz or Ra's al Ghul. Like, there's no question that uh, but Gordon But, like, knows... she has also done crime. Eh, she's more like, here's the thing. Uh, no, the criminal is Ra's al Ghul. This is just a lady. A pretty lady. She couldn't have possibly committed any crimes because she's too pretty and a lady. <laughs> what about Catwoman? She she's a, all the time. She's yeah. a villain, even. She gets a pass most of the time, you'll notice. <laughs> not viciously is. beaten like the Joker is. <laughs> That's true. She's also not dropped into a madhouse that looks like Guantanamo Bay. Well, she never gets caught, right? She Sometimes she gets caught, but she oh. goes to jail. Ah. Well, she's not crazy. She's dressed like a, uh, a cat. Jumps around. I mean, sometimes Batman... teams up with villains. Batman yeah. is definitely crazy. We already know this. Yes. So Catwoman is also crazy. Right. Is Catwoman crazy? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, so Batman and Gordon are going over the, the plan. But before Gordon issues, you know, all this sensitive information that is only for police, mm-hmm. he's like, uh, the lady? The, yeah. the fuck, man? And Batman's like, whatever you could say in front of me, you could say in front of her. He's like, we're going to do this now? Right That's on, the- fine. And so he's like, all right, nothing I can do. What are you going to do? I'm already breaking all the fucking rules. I'm like, talking to you. Like, you'll punch me or something if yeah. I don't do it. So. Gordon reveals that the gang belonged to a really bad dude in the Middle Eastern region whose name is Cain, as in the biblical first murderer Cain. It's not spelled Cain, C-A, it's spelled Cain with like Q's and Y's. <laughs> yep. That oh, way it's the different. Q. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he has the ear of General uh, Yusid, who is i think he was like he's like a general for hire and okay. he had some previous dealings with the ussr because of course it's 87 so the acts there so uh so russia still the ussr at this point mm-hmm. and uh, the general might be working for kane uh but he's also uh under the employ of the united states government Mm-hmm. So like we lured Wait, him. The general? Yeah, the general we lured in with like you know American trappings, but uh, from the Soviets. But maybe uh, Kane might be working with him as well. Out of a small country called uh, Galicia, which, which borders Iran. Yes, which is a big problem uh, at this time. It's roughly where Iraq would be. Yes. All right, so it's between Iran and Turkey. Yes, and uh, Galicia, yeah. by the way, is fitting for a guy who chose the name Kane because. It means, like, of Goliath, you know, of a giant, uh, basically. So, like, he's got a real biblical fixation, this, okay. uh, this Cain character. Mm. And uh, the chemicals that were stolen or attempted Going to be stolen to be, yeah. Yeah. were made in the process of rainmaking and weather influence. Oh. They have a word for it. Pluviculture is the, is the science of rainmaking. Science of rainmaking. Yeah. And what I don't know, I can look up. Because I got Google. Yes. <laughs> got Alfred! Program. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred! Yeah, I got Google. It's it, Actually, it's more like Ask Jeeves. <laughs> and this is actually what it is, seven. I call Alfred and then I make him go to the library and he looks it up for me it's and then a good Ask Alfred. <laughs> he's got he's got some encyclopedias yeah. or something. Alfred, I need to know what pluviculture is like yesterday. Very <sighs> well, must wait. Mm-hmm. He... Uh, so... Damn it, it's under W for weather manipulation. <laughs> so, uh, Batman knows a doctor who is working in the science of pluviculture. Ah. His name is Dr. Blaine. And Dr. Blaine is an old callback to pre-crisis ba- Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul. Because Dr. Blaine was involved in that same DC special showcase comic. Uh, but, <gasps> this is off topic. Why was a pregnant woman in oh a in a warehouse? warehouse with chemicals used for rainmaking? Right. Why are there like 
maybe they were removing giving a tour. <laughs> Because there, are, house because there are regular folks, not like factory right. working folks. Like, why is a very pregnant woman and her husband? Like, right. I get why the husband's there, <laughs> but why is his very pregnant wife there? Are they just like really down on their luck and he pulled some strings and got his very pregnant wife a job at the same at place the he works? At the chemical warehouse? <laughs> nah, I'm sure that everyone was just out for like a nice night at dinner and they were down by the docks looking for a seafood restaurant and right. suddenly like and they hear a noise. And they're like, what's that, honey? Let's go, oh, let's that. go let's investigate. investigate that. <laughs> it's what Batman does. No, <laughs> we're not Batman. Sense. In any event. They're vigilantes. Yeah, I, I, it, it, it's not even, like it's got boarded up windows Oh, I know. Shit. No, like, it's, it's a straight up. It's not even like in operation. It's a straight up Batman versus goons warehouse. Oh, like, you know what it was? The husband does work at the warehouse and he was going to steal the chemicals because he was like, Oh, he was honey, in on it. Sounds like dread. We got, no, we got to, we got to get into this. Like, uh, the, this is the only way we're going to get out of town. This is the only way we're going to get out of town. Like, this could buy us the future that we want. Right. You know, for little Jimmy. <laughs> But I need your help yeah. because I can't believe these chemicals. Because are these chemicals own. are really heavy. <laughs> Put your back into it, honey. So there's no explanation offered. Why? Why are these windows boarded up? This is Gotham chemical plant. No, it's these good. guys board up the windows because they don't want to get sniped. But they only boarded up one of the three windows in this shot. This one's broken. Well, maybe that one was broken because they threw something out the window, or the ca- or the cops tried their their first volley. They shot that window. Look, maybe it the really... window was just boarded up because while it is a warehouse for like Gotham Chemical, windows break. You um, know how long it takes for a glass repairman to come out? I'll yeah. just board up the windows. Well, look, look at every business. We can still work. Board it up with like a couple vertical, one like diagonal. Board. Oh yeah, no. Well, that's to show Huge you that they're boarded between up between them. Mm-hmm. Look, I was going to board up the rest of them in the picture, but I got bored of drawing boards. I didn't mean to say that like that. I'm that's fair. really <laughs> well. It's it doesn't matter. <laughs> Batman goes to the uh, office of Doctor Blaine, mm-hmm. but don't get too wrapped up in who Doctor Blaine is because right. he's dead. <laughs> oh. Not the pluviculturist, Dr. Blaine. That's right. Lost another one, didn't you, Batman? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Mm-hmm. Blaine is dead, poisoned. His coffee was spiked, and uh, he's just he's just dead over his desk with a scrap of paper in his rigor mortis hand. Uh, Batman finds the... And by the, by the way, Batman does some, like, detection. Mm-hmm. You know, he's like, okay, uh, there's no, like, entry wounds. Uh, there's, there's no sign of a struggle. There's no sign of forced entry. So we know that... The, he was killed like using a timed method. Mm-hmm. But he, he, he has this piece of paper scripted in his hand. Let me see what it is. It's a flyer for a sale. Yeah, well, he finds out what the paper is in a minute. But like, so he, Blaine's dead. He figures out that like he's been poisoned, and then three suspects run into the room, and they all have alibis, and they all have like a reason to like Doctor Blaine. So there's no reason to suspect any of them. And Batman is just like hanging out and and. Oh yeah, they're like Batman. What happened to Doctor Blaze? He's been he's been poisoned, and they're like, Oh no, and it was one of you. He doesn't even do well, that. Now where were you? He, he's just like uh, his son is like really upset, of course, understandably. And Batman's <laughs> like, Well, obviously you didn't do it. This is amazing. This is like this is like a game of Clue. Yes. Who are you? And he introduces himself. I'm John Pearson, Blaine's son. Panel. And, and you? you, Professor Margaret Trask. Oh, Trask. Oh, that's not. That's Marvel, that's but Marvel. still, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like Professor Plum, yep. again, Mr. Green, and Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet. <laughs> it's true. By the way, this mystery. It, this is the mystery, <laughs> and then it gets solved in the last page of the book. Oh wow! And by the way, this is the mystery. No, no, it it's doesn't. Just a little bit. It's mystery. a middle minute. Who killed Doctor Blaine? Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. So it's Batman, just... uh, he. He's like, he, he finds this book that Blaine was looking at, mm-hmm. and there's a page torn out of it. And he's like, ooh, but if the, if the murderer wanted the book, they would have taken the book. Why rip out a page? So then he sees the piece of paper that's in Blaine's hand, and he opens it up, and the piece of paper refers to a word, algol. Yes. That's it. A-L-G-O-L. So it's, it's, it's a, a word star. that... It's a star that means the demon. Alright. So he's like, okay, Rachel. So this dude, so Dr. Blaine, who had actually had dealings with Rachel Ghoul anyway, so he would know who Rachel Ghoul is, mm-hmm. uh, implicates Rachel Ghoul, and he's like, so Talia, do you know anything about this? And she's like, no, I don't. But I was sent by my father here to Gotham to stop Kane and his rainmaking schemes. Hmm. Okay. So Batman and Talia fly to the Middle East or wherever the hell to meet with Rachel. 
And so get I love some it. answers. Yeah, get some answers. So Batman and Talia arrive. And by the way, they're like a, a crazy, like James Bond esque location. It's this like mountain stronghold <laughs> filled with goons. Yeah, they meet the goons. It's amazing. The goon has like a huge gun. And he's like. He's like, Batman, you're an enemy of Rachel Ghoul. You must come with me. He goes, do we have to go through this every time? <laughs> I arrived in a plane with his daughter. Just let me through. And he's like, no! sorry. <laughs> so he's like, you you point a gun at me. He, Whack, take. I take the gun away from you. We always do this. I really love that Like he addresses the trope uh-huh. and then completely just throws it away. Yeah. But it'd be amazing if... He enjoys it. Oh, yeah. Like, the guard enjoys it. Batman enjoys it, We have a whole thing. He's like, John, what are you doing here, man? I thought you'd move on. Nope. It, it, he pays dental. What do you want from me? Are you, are you going to hit me, Batman? Are you going to hit me? Are you going to hit me? Here we go. Shoot you. I'm going to do it. You're not going to shoot me. me. Oh, 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 you got me good. Oh. Yeah, we have a good time. <laughs> have anyway, fun. how's little Susie? <laughs> oh, she's great. You know, she's 12. Oh, 12 now? They grow up oh, so no, fast. It's true. Hit me again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll see you next, caper. <laughs> So Batman and Talia meet with Rachel Ghoul, who's overseeing the construction of a new uh, Lazarus Pit tank thing. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's portrayed as a like open volcano he can leap into. Other times it needs to be synthesized into like a kind of tub. In this case, it's a synthesized tub surrounded by crazy machinery to anno- to to help facilitate the reju- re- rejuvenative properties of the Lazarus Pit. You say sure. tub, all I can now imagine is like one of those clawfoot tubs mm-hmm. with like a little. Shower attachment. Yeah, right. It looks more like a. Around. It looks more like a pool table. Well, but, what do you uh, do today? Uh, instead of a Lazarus pit, I forgot a Lazarus shower. Right. You know, hop in, hop out. Five minutes. I'm an adult. I'm busy. You know what? I, I got I, shit to do. It's, it's time. <laughs> so Batman meets with Raish, and Raish is like, "Ah, detective, welcome to my stronghold." Blah blah blah. Like we have our little back and forth. Uh, have some dinner with me. Mm-hmm. So Batman's like, "Right on, okay." Yeah, I have dinner with my so, father-in-law. Right. Yeah, they don't talk about that just yet. But, <laughs> so they sit at this hilariously long table, race at one end, Batman at the other, tally in the middle. <laughs> Does he say, like, could you pass, pass the salt? salt? <laughs> I like so, this. She's sitting not in the middle. She's, like, slightly toward the Batman side yeah, of the middle. Yeah, the Batrometer <laughs> of evil. <laughs> so... Ba- uh, Raish is like, you haven't touched your pheasant or whatever ridiculous food we have. <laughs> and Batman's like, yeah, I don't, ha- I don't make it a habit to eat the food of my enemy. You might have mm. poisoned it. Plus, I don't know if you're involved with the assassination of Doctor Blaine, right? Or maybe the 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 the, the people who worked for Kane. And Raish's like, how dare you speak that name in my presence? And Batman's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody's Let's talking. Do I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh wow, yeah. What about Thomas and Martha? <gasps> No. So he's like, what do you mean? Oh, you What's that name? <laughs> exactly. Raish reveals that Cain is the man who murdered Talia's mother. Oh. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. So uh, he regales Batman with the origin of Cain, who is just this son of a bitch, who worked for uh, Raish al Ghul back in the past. Uh, when uh, Actually, his parents worked for Raish, and they entrusted Raish with their son, Cain, and he sent his parents on like a mission to Hiroshima uh, on uh, August 6, 1945. Oh. And so they were annihilated. Uh, and Raish and Kane were on their way to them at the time. So like Kane got to see the blast and watch his parents be vaporized. And so oh. Oh, uh, this traumatized him. And Raish kind of hoped that it would like temper him and make him like kind of like a cool badass. But instead it just made him insane. Like Batman. And uh, he he did discover Raish's Lazarus pits, and so he's like he was interested in them, and he he broke into Raish's like Lazarus pit at one point, mm. and uh, Raish's wife tried to stop him, and when he was discovered, he like spazzed out and accidentally knocked her into the pit, which killed her. Because like if you're fine and you go into the Lazarus pit, it it kills you. It's lava. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I did not know that. Yeah. So she died, and he got away. Wow. And, Seems uh, like you might want to have a cover on that thing. He <laughs> spazzed and flung her into the Lazarus pit. As you can see, he he desperately tries to get away, but he doesn't outright or deliberately push her into the no. way to cause a distraction. It's he just, just legitimately spazzes out, and she falls into the pit. That's it's really kind of on her for being how, that close. It's hard to see how that happened unless she was like already leaning over it and like. But why would she do her that? And she lost her balance. All right, maybe maybe you don't want to cover because like then you got to take it on and off. Mm-hmm. Having a guardrail. Yeah, it was really on you, Raish. Right. I mean, like Osha would have a field day with this place. <laughs> oh, it's true. Uh, by the way, Kane's also like unnaturally strong. Oh, he doesn't know his own strength. 
Yeah. Well, not at that time. He bumped her a little bit, and she went flying. I mean, he threw the full force of, a, of an arm at her. Yeah. Why? Who freaks out that way? Oh! Listen, I know lots of people who drop shit for no reason, or drop flail. It, or it. sometimes you see a spider and you weren't expecting to see one. Ah! And I, I definitely freaked out. Knock out my wife by accident? I scared the absolute crap out of myself at work today. <laughs> By seeing a spider? No. <laughs> I was eating lunch. I was just upstairs in the break room. And I had pulled my sock up a little bit too high. Did you hit yourself? No, no, no. It was just up high on my, like, it was a short sock. But, like, yeah. I pulled it up a little high. Mm -hmm. And while I was eating, it just slid down a little bit. <laughs> and for some reason, I felt it. I thought there was an animal on my ankle. Yeah. I was like, ow, what the? See, I yeah. literally freaked out. So bad. So I bad. Did you shove the person next to you? Or knock your food onto the floor? Pit? I didn't knock my food on the floor, but I definitely jumped. I went, ah! Yeah. I've gone, ah, before. I've never gone, ah! Well, he does! <laughs> okay. I know why you're so I'm focused just, on this one thing. It's just the shittiest way to die. Well, I agree. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're so pissed at him. Yeah. They could forgive him if it were, like, if he'd, like, strangled her to death. <laughs> at least you intentionally did. Yeah, but you did it by acting like a bonehead. There's no honor in that death. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't get to go to heaven in my ridiculous, like, in the <laughs> rules of my stupid, weird culture. Or Klingons. Yeah, yeah. no, she died without oh, honor. How dare yeah, you? Uh... Right. And so he's like, yeah, look, like, I want to stop this Kane guy, too. And Rachel's like, we should join forces. And Batman's like, all right. Mm -mm -mm. And Rachel's like, here's the deal. If you join forces with me, you have to honor the marriage that you were involved with with my daughter. Mm. And Batman goes... All right. And, like, what? you're reading this book, you're like, okay, so Batman, okay, so he's going to break he's both got their hearts. Mm -hmm. No. He's like, she's hot, she's helpful, I'm in. She saved my life. It's... Yeah. So, then they bang. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She takes him into her quarters, which are spectacular. Yep. There are live cranes in her bedroom. <laughs> and flowers? Like, growing out of the fucking carpets? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Right? Wait, isn't there a vase on the other side? There must be a... This must be in a vase that's below the... Right. Yeah. But it looks like... Just but I assume there's also, like, a grotto nearby? Yeah. Yeah, with, like, a little underwater uh, swimming pool cave. Naturally. Like the goes birds, into like, them. crap on everything? Right? Uh, they're trained not to. I assume that, <laughs> like, like, the... box? The, I assume the League cleans it up. Yeah. It is the daughter of the demon. That's so true. The sec there's one ninja. His <laughs> job is dedicated. He's second that bird craps, you clean it up. Yeah. I don't want to see any crap in it. I don't want to see you either. He's just always in the, <laughs> in the ceiling, like, ready. <laughs> and they're banging. He's like, oh no! <laughs> and by the way, this sequence of Batman banging Talia was in an old Batman book that I had as a kid. Mm -hmm. And in the days before you could Wikipedia things or just rob it up and watch one of his videos, uh huh. Uh, all I have were these books of, yeah. like, old classic Batman sequences. And in one of them, Batman just, like, takes off his clothes and reveals what a boss oh, yeah. Jack Duty is and just takes Talia. It reminds me of one of those old, like, 40s comics where, like, you see, like, mm. someone in the safari mm -hmm. who's like, I'm the man's man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's straight up, like, trouble in paradise. <laughs> uh, but they constantly... <laughs> My name is, like, Dirk Hardbeck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the way, this is the technical consummation of the marriage. Oh. So those who say that like Batman gets married in this book, technically the marriage is sanctified oh. in this moment, and so now they technically are married. I see. And then Batman moves in with Raish, and for weeks he trains the League of Assassins in his methods of combat. What? I want everyone to wear this cowl. <laughs> and so Batman becomes the son of the demon. Oh. For this, to, to kill this one guy. No. And to live with Ray and Talia forever. Except he's not going to do that. Why wouldn't he? It's an <laughs> it's original graphic novel. I'm so used to all these different crazy tales of Batman. It is in continuity, though. But, uh... No, yeah, but he's walking an angle, right? No. Yeah, you think, like, okay, because I know Batman, and I've seen a thousand Batman stories, right? He's like, yeah, no, I'm going to get Don't a little tail, something. and I'm going to break the both their hearts, and I'm going to take down both organizations. No. Everything he says is completely what he means. He's like, I'm in. I'm going to be married to Talia. I'm going to have my father-in-law be the eco-terrorist Rachel al Ghul. Because like, hey, he's got a tragic backstory too? Yeah, and I'm going to train the League of Assassins. Why didn't he do this at any point? Because they never asked him. <laughs> he's but married. Wait, you want me to bang Wait, your daughter? I'll bang your daughter. It, it didn't, didn't come up. up. Remember, he defeated them and then he left. Yeah, they didn't ever say like, hey, you, you know. They never called him back. back. No. 
Okay. So <laughs> if he wanted to be married so bad, why did he just say like, you know what? I am technically married. Why don't I just go back? No, to it, that country. Well, because he's usually being that. Batman. He's not ever in that position. He didn't know any about about Ra's tragic backstory. Not only that, but like nothing right. was drawing him back there. No. Now with this dead doctor, yeah, yeah and he also forgotten about it. He doesn't give a shit. Now he's just married. He was a breadcrumb to the to the to the. <sighs> you know, it's just very random. Yes, it's very out of nowhere. <laughs> so, All General right. uh, General Yusuf or whatever oh. uh, Yosid uh, goes to uh, meet with Kane. Mm-hmm. Who is an absolute badass? And uh, is that that old guy with the white hair? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And uh, Kane's plan is that he wants to. He wanted to use the chemicals to control the weather, but as it turns out, the Americans are going to launch a weather satellite, and so they're going to hijack it and then use it to control the weather that way. Wait. <laughs> There were multiple things that were going to be controlling the weather? Well, I, it could be that the, the, the chemicals that were at the warehouse were going to be used in conjunction with the satellite, but they don't get away with the chemicals. Right, the chemicals so, were plan A. That yeah, fell through. The plan B oh, is... I guess we'll just take over that satellite. Look, yes. I really didn't want to have to go into space, but finally... Well, they don't go to space. space. They just need, to, they just need to, to hijack and manipulate the satellite before it's launched. So the conceit of this book is that... The Americans were going to change the weather with the satellite, but these criminals got it first. Well, the criminal, well, the the criminals hijacked. Like the technology to alter weather. Oh yes, it's already there. Is just a thing. Yep, that, that exists <laughs> okay. that, that we have control over. Yeah. yeah, but they couldn't launch a satellite, so they couldn't do it themselves without taking one that somebody else. Launched. Yes. Okay. The hilarious thing is that once someone has a satellite, you think you'd be able to launch a second one? No. Uh, so that well, it's very you could, expensive. Well, no, so that you could control it again? Uh, the problem is uh, the weather is never right for it. <laughs> Kane uh, also wants the Lazarus Pit. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, who would Oh, to not die. Because he is dying. Ah. His doctor uh, reveals the results of these x-rays and an inconclusive test that we don't hear the specific details about. Okay. But basically, Kane's dying. He's got a short lifespan. He's ready to go. I see he... when you uh, hit spaz. <laughs> when you freaked out like a chump. In, in front uh, of the Lazarus pit? A little bit of the Lazarus pit splashed on you. Yeah, and it made you... Dying. Yeah, I mean, who the hell knows why That's... he's dying. But the point is, he is dying. He's dying. And so he's like, okay. I gotta get to the Lazarus pit, and I want to control the weather. And start like World War Three or whatever. <laughs> also, I want a sandwich. What? <laughs> yeah. That's his plan? Pretty much. He's going to start World War III with the weather. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this goes. You'll see why. Uh, or you'll see how. Okay. So Rage gets intel that the American satellite's going to get hijacked, so Batman and his newly formed League right. go to stop them. Does he call them Robins? No. In order to put them in colorful, like, target <laughs> costumes. Uh, so, basically, it all goes to shit. Mm, uh, they lose. They lose. Uh, they are... Because... Batman doesn't want the assassins to assassinate the Americans that are working on the base, mm. so that slows them down. Uh, and Kane's people are also involved to try and manipulate it. And so ultimately, Batman faces off against Kane, and he hopes that he can distract Kane long enough so that when the rocket blasts off, it kills him, but it doesn't because he gets away faster. Man, his. That is just his mo in this book. Is it's just, just like, can I arrange for someone to like be in a right spot? Yes, without me specifically just being involved. Bring a gun! No, 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 you're gonna do. That. I will not kill anyone. No, you killed like five people. Technically, Look, they I didn't kill. <sighs> I just set up. It's like saw. Yeah, yeah, I'm jigsaw. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Batman and Talia go home. Because they're like, well, that well, didn't work well, out. Oh, well, we lost. But we do know that, like, Kane wants the Lazarus Pit. And uh, but Batman's... But the weather satellite it did, has been hijacked. Well, it took off, and unbeknownst to the Americans... Because the Americans just saw, like, a bunch of people trying to mess with it. But it took off without a hitch, so they assumed that it was, like, sabotage. And since it took off, they're like, oh, it's fine. Uh, by the way, one of Batman's lieutenants, he gets captured by Kane's people. Oh, no. And, uh, and he's gruesomely tortured. <laughs> Great. Um, he's actually oh. gagged... And then he tries to arrange to have the gag removed so that he can negotiate. But when he does, Kane's like, oh, no, you don't. He grabs the dude's face because he knows that all of 
Raish's people have cyanide teeth. Oh. And so he pulls the tooth out of his head, oh. and then he dips his finger in the blood, and then he marks the dude's face with a Q on his face. Oh. And then he's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you're not going to get away from me that easily. And so he tortures him horribly, and until finally the dude tells Cain where the Lazarus pit is, where Raish's people is, how to get in. And he's like, only, like, I'll tell you everything if you promise me a quick and painless death. Mm-hmm. And then Cain's like, okay. And as he grabs the dude's head, and he's like, you promised. He's like, yeah, no, I, I, I promised that I would uh, kill you uh, painlessly, but uh, I'm only going to kill you. And so he crushes the dude's head with his hands. Yikes. Like Congo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Congo! <laughs> Does an eyeball fly out and roll somewhere? No. <laughs> or uh, Star Trek Into I was Darkness. Say, yeah, Star Trek Into Darkness. Because there's no colon, so it's Star Trek into darkness. It's a sentence. <laughs> so Batman and Talia arrive back home. Home in their ridiculous way. By the way, it's been weeks. Yeah. He never calls Alfred and says, like, I'm never coming home. <laughs> Close the cave and go back to England. <laughs> so Batman gives Talia a necklace, like a beautiful, very expensive uh, bubble. Where does... Okay, okay. Yeah, where does he get it? He's Batman! he just went out He's and Bruce it. Wayne! He's yeah. a freaking billionaire! Yeah, Come on. Bruce Wayne... He probably since this book started. <laughs> no, he was Bruce Wayne Bender. Uh, I, I guess. Took off the costume. He's not going out in the world and being like, I'm Bruce Wayne, here's my credit card. I'm no, buy he, some he shit. sent a guy. I guess. He has, he has people he's got, now. He's got people for that. He yeah. sends the Legion. Hey, steal this. Yeah, Make yeah. sure it's nice. He called Alfred. He's like, Alfred, buy me a fancy necklace and ship it to fucking middle nowhere. Yeah, why again? Are you coming home anytime soon? Click. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe. If you send this, maybe I will. Click. That's not what's going to for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Batman gives her this gift, and uh, she's like, this is beautiful. I'll, I'll, like, I will, every time I wear it, I'll think of you, and I'm yeah. never going to take it off. Oh. Well, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. And yeah. back right now, it's all I'm going to wear. And, uh, by the way, uh, this is a... They bang, right? They, they already banged. No, no, no. They, They're not going to bang again? Well, yeah. they well, would. They would normally, <laughs> but before uh, all this whole goes to hell, she also tells him, like, I've got some news for you. Mm. I'm pregnant. And Batman's like, this is great. Okay. I've always wanted to be a father. And I'm down for this. Okay. And All then right. and by the way, Ray shows up and he's like, he's like, I couldn't help but over here. I'm so pleased to hear this. This is wonderful news. Uh, and so the the, the the necklace is no, like, No, no, like that's a huge tip off. No, no, no. No, he's totally excited. And Batman has this really weird out of character moment where he's like, oh, if it's a boy, we'll name it Thomas. And if it's a girl, we'll name it Martha. Yeah, of course, Batman. Jesus Christ. Look, we don't need a grandson to be called Raish Jr. <laughs> or so, Raish the Third. So Batman gives Talia this, this like, congratulations, my boys can swim present. <laughs> and then Kane's people attack. And it's a cool fight scene, but the context of it is that Batman is like oh shit and he like pushes Talia out of the way and she falls in the Lazarus pit and dies no <laughs> he's so he surprised out and he knocks her in the Lazarus pit <laughs> oh we really shouldn't start that guardrail why oh. after I heard the story I knew I knew the risk and yet still <laughs> why are we why do we always take our romantic walks around the Lazarus pit well it is nice and warm and it glows it provides its own light it's true. and uh, the smell is actually not that unpleasant Let's anyway so they get attacked <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, and Batman like pushes them out of the like, pushes her out of the way and he gets distracted he gets like he gets kicked and punched by like amateur moves uh-huh. uh, he almost gets shot a couple yeah, times yeah he's thinking he's like holy shit I gotta I gotta, I gotta protect or, or the, I gotta the mother of my child yeah, yeah. And, uh, and by the way, Talia's like, no, I'm a badass. I can kick yeah, ass. She's got she picks up a freaking machine gun. She's yeah. like wasting people. With Batman's like, yes, excellent, of course, right? <laughs> because I'm totally fine with that because I didn't do it. <laughs> so then he like locks her out of the room and ultimately like he, he kicks the crap out of these guys and they withdraw. Ultimately they okay. do eventually withdraw. And uh, Talia's like, holy crap. Oh, uh, but Kane tries to make it to the Lazarus pit. Uh, and This he, is just a James Bond movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just Batman, but James Bond. But <laughs> what's Kane, the point of him making it to Lazarus? He just wants to jump he's in. Gonna, he's gonna die. No, he's no, dying. He's dying. Yeah, so yes, he's dying. Be. Yeah, we're all dying. <laughs> yeah, not like him. Him sooner. It works. So, <laughs> how close to death do you have to be for it to not? Kill I don't you? know. All right, I don't have the encyclopedia on the Lazarus pit. <laughs> so, I don't have the tech manual. Right. Yeah. So Kane's gonna. So Kane's gonna jump into the Lazarus pit. And Raish, like, appears on, like, a giant monitor that they keep in the Lazarus pit room. Uh-huh. And he's like, nope! And then just blows up the pit. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll have to friggin' find another one, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll just build another one. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're they're rare. It's hard. It's hard? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he blew it up, but... Can't you then just, just like, jump dig, it, it anyway? dig it out again? No, it's... No. It's like rubble? Like, oh, I'll just move some rocks aside. Right. Hey, it's still there. You can... It's a pit. <laughs> you can in birth of the demon, but not in son of the demon. <laughs> so... Uh, Kane doesn't get what he wants, the men withdraw, and Talia realizes that, like, as long as she is pregnant, he will always be distracted from the mission. Mm. Including the mission that her father really wants to accomplish, which is right. defeating Kane. Mm-hmm. But, so, oh, uh, the, uh, so the Americans are, like, have launched their satellite, and they're checking it out, and they're like, alright, it's working pretty good, yeah, this is great. And then, uh, Kane's got the general, who's working on, like, hacking the satellite and stuff. Mm-hmm. They take over, and they, they generate a storm, like, a, and then it, that, and, well, they generate rain, and then they make it into a storm, and then they turn it into a typhoon. Uh. And it's like rolling towards Moscow. So Gorbachev calls Reagan and he's like, there is a storm conspicuously moving directly towards the Kremlin. Right. And uh, if it comes within 100 miles of Moscow, I will launch freaking nukes. Oh, wow. And the president's like, well, Jesus Christ, Gorbachev, I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't work out that way. (laughs) Like, I won't, you know, sorry. I super serial swear that it wasn't I don't recall that happening. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> when well, Reagan you know was deposed, <laughs> uh, his answer was that he didn't recall every right. single question that he answered. Anyway, and so you know, he might have had Alzheimer's at the end there. So that's true. Might so he true. might not have been. Yeah, that's there. Who am I? <laughs> Who's this again? The president, you say? Yeah, Whoa, that's a pretty good. I sound uh, important. It's <laughs> a pretty good technique when you're uh, getting questioned. <laughs> Just pretend like you have a d- have brain a debilitating disease. brain disease. Yeah, I don't think he was pretending though. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Batman and Raish and Talia are going over the plan to defeat Kane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Talia faints. Oh. And uh, they take her to the to the medic. And it turns out that during the scuffle, during Kane's assault on mm. the stronghold, she lost the baby. Aww. Maybe yeah. when Batman shoved her back. Get out of the way! No one blames him for the push. <laughs> okay. Get out of the way, and he kicks her right in the snow. Yeah. So it's she, the only way I know how to move but you. She loses the baby, nothing. and uh, it's really That's sad. Horrible. Yeah. And no, it's also really sucks. sad because he really wanted it. And yeah. She and it, did. But it's really sad because Batman is like very like this is the beginning of Batman becoming more distant. Oh. He's like, oh, you lost the baby, huh? Well, anyway, oh and you're God. like, get out oh, of here, Batman! What the crap! I mean, he's, he's you can try again. I don't know if he's like really. Like, that way, or if he's more just, like, internally tormented as a result. Right. But the fact is, he's really upset. I'm never going to have a family. Oh we could God. just do it again. No. no. <laughs> it's so weird that she's like, wow, Batman's always going to be distracted if I have a baby. Mm. And then she, and then loses, she loses the baby. It's very mm. convenient. So, she uh, says, this is horrible. She says she's sorry. And he says, I know you are. I know. That's what makes me go like, oh, no. <sighs> oh, Batman's a dick. Yeah. So, oh, and uh, when bef- when they were going over the plan, mm-hmm. before she fainted, Raish is like, okay, so we're going to do this, that, and the other thing. And Batman's like, oh, no, I'm out. We're not doing this anymore. My wife oh? is pregnant. Oh. The- I'm out of your life. I'm out of Batman. Like, I'm taking care of my of my wife and our child. We're done. Right. Oh, right. no, it should have been like, hey, can we hold off on the plan for, like, maybe nine months? Right, exactly. No. But so, uh, so now that Batman's lost the baby, Raish is going to go uh, take out Kane. Okay. And Batman is like, I'm coming too. And he's like completely focused like a microscope on this plan. Batman and Raish <laughs> and the team are going to Kane's stronghold. But, so Batman figures out that like Kane is located in Galatia because he's got like this biblical fixation. And he's like, yeah, he's got to go here, blah, blah, blah. So they, they, they send their plane there. Uh, Kane takes it out. And so like they all like paratroop down. Like they parachute into uh, Kane's area. Mm-hmm. And Batman has a parachute that's shaped like a bat? No, it's just a, just a parachute. It's just... It's it's one of Raish's parachutes. Yeah, he didn't bring his bat parachute. His yeah. Bat chute. But Batman takes out one of these dudes, and I think he kills him. And Raish is like, whoa. Wow. Like, Batman is not messing around. <laughs> Interesting. And so... Oh, oh, this is what You kill people all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but Batman doesn't. He just puts them in a position to die. So... I put him in a position to die underneath my fist. Right. Actually, it's his legs. But in any case, Batman and Raish go to... Uh, 
Kane's stronghold, and right. Uh, so Batman's like Kane's mine because he killed my this, this, my son. Mm-hmm. And Rachel's isn't like, hey, Kane's mine. He, he killed, killed my, my wife. wife. Well, yeah. they both kind of like jockey for it, but Rachel's also like cool with the plan. Okay. So hey, if Batman wants to kill him, right? So Batman and I'm Kane over to fight. My side. Rache goes to kill or just or attack. Uh, the dude who's manipulating the satellite mm-hmm. because uh, General Yasid or whatever uh, is going to turn tail on Kane. He's like, ah, this is getting too extreme. Right. So then I don't Kane like destroy the whole world. Right. So then Kane picks him up and he crushes his rib cage. Oh. It's totally awesome. So Batman fights Kane. Raish takes out like the dude who's dealing with the computer. Uh-huh. Ultimately, uh, Raish decides that the only way to do it is to just pull out some wires from the control panel. Which he does okay. as the train as as the as the storm is barreling towards Moscow. Right. <laughs> now why do, doesn't he doesn't he want civilization to he be? He has destroyed? the same thought. He's like, this is kind of part of my plan, but I can't let him win. Yeah. Like I could take it I could take over this plan and say it was mine, but like, no. I, for reasons. No, I'm that not I, taking Kane's plan. Pretty Kane much. sucks. Yeah. And so he he overloads the system and I then think... it makes the uh, makes the satellite explode. Yeah, he says, my, I have to take action or my dream of a replenished world will be for ages lost. So maybe he's worried about, like, nuclear fallout. Yes. Will, like, ruin the environment. Right. Well, especially considering once Russia fires its nukes. US right, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing. Like, it's the, the end, end of the world. world. Right, it's the end yeah. of the world. It's not like we're just going to take out people. Right. So so that's how he was saying, how he like, just start World War Three. Yeah. It was because I'm going to threaten Russia. Yes. So. Why does Kane want to destroy the world? Because, like, fuck everybody. Uh-huh. Remember his parents were killed during World War II? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hey, if they had to die in a nuclear blast, we're all going to die in a nuclear blast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry, I scratched you. So, <laughs> so the, the satellite blows up, thereby taking away this like miracle uh, technology from the Americans as well. Like Nobody can use it. <laughs> yeah, but it, there's already a storm. It's not like it just disappears. No, it does. Because the, because the satellite manipulates the... The, the, the rain-making chemicals in the air, it doesn't matter. Point is, it blows up and the storm goes away. The storm is not naturally occurring, so right. I guess when it like when the conditions are gone for it to be man-made, it, it just it just dissipates. Yeah. In any event... Much it, like that tornado in Twister. Yeah. It just disappears. It just disappears? Yeah. Class 9 or whatever the hell. Five. Five, thank you. So, uh, Batman and Raish... Oh, so Batman, like, knocks out... Knocks down Kane... Raish goes to face Kane also. Kane fights Raish, and then Batman knocks Kane into the broken com- computer panel where there are some live wires which cook him alive. Then Batman sticks his finger into one of Kane's open wounds and then marks his cheek with his own symbol. Wow. He doesn't he doesn't draw a bat on him. Yeah. No. I thought oh. he was gonna do a bat. Me too. His own symbol. No. It's weird. It is weird. But also badass. Well, yeah. I don't want to leave any evidence that I did this. Yeah. No, you it, died by your own It's only an international, himself. like, it's yeah, all way. No, one, no, no one's going to be like, no one's going to extradite Batman. Right. So, Batman goes to visit uh, Talia at the, like, hospital or whatever, the med, the med bank, mm-hmm. med bay of Raisha's stronghold. And she and he's like, it's done. We did it. And she's like, no, I, I need to be alone. He's like, okay, I'll come back later. She goes, no, I need to be alone forever. And he's like, if that's what you want. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, I'm sorry. And then he just leaves and goes home. What? That's sad. Wow. I mean, to be fair, he was starting to act like an asshole. <laughs> I said I'm sorry, <laughs> and like you a... said I imagine you are. You're supposed to say I'm sorry, too! Exactly. That's true. Maybe have a conversation about it. Yeah. No. No, I'm just like, no, nah, I'd really get out. you left. You are All the right. daughter of a, of a of a of an immortal terrorist, so like you're not playing with a full deck yourself. Did they ever have a conversation where they're like, I don't know if this is gonna work? They never have that conversation. No, they're all like it's just, No, they're blissful newlyweds until, until until she doesn't have a kid anymore. Yeah, and then they're like, you know what, never mind. Yeah, then the veil is drawn and everybody kinda gets it. So then Batman yeah. goes back home and then reveals that the uh Dr. Pearson or John, oh, yes. John Pearson? Yes. Getting back to this Getting back to that mystery. mystery. Yeah, uh, John Pearson's the one who spiked the coffee because uh, he was paid by Kane's men to leak information. He, he got information about the chemicals and leaked it to Kane about where they could get the rainmaking chemicals. Uh. And we get this information how? 
Oh, that's this right. Is amazing. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so he, well, he, he on the on the flight home, he thought about the mystery that he left behind and how like Al Algol, yeah, was like it also means a star, which means the demon. But then he thought about it again, and it also stands for algorithmic al- for for uh, algorithmic al- algorithmic language. language, which is the whatever the fuck like the specialty the program which is the computer program oh. that like uh, Pearson used yeah so it was Blaine implicating it what it had nothing to do with Raish yeah that Blaine was blaming Pearson because Pearson was the one who met with the computer program that would have manipulated the satellite or something now how did Batman how did, figure that out no, how did Blaine know who had killed him because he was poisoned right yes yeah. Well, I guess because he knew that, like, his well, son I mean, wouldn't do it. There were only three people in the buildings. <laughs> and, like, the lady couldn't do it because she's a pretty lady. <laughs> well, bringing it all back. Batman have used the same reasoning. Yes, but he's the world's greatest detective. So he has to take it a, a little bit further. And where did the world the word Algol come from? It was just a word on that page. It was a word right? on that page. But it had so nothing I, to do with the star chart itself. he was no. dying, he thought, I need to let... The detective investigating this case know who killed me. Yes. Uh, he's a computer programmer. Computer programmers. Computer programmers. They, they speak with language. algorithmic language. Algorithmic languages. Algol. Algorithmic uh-huh. language. Alg- Al- Algol. Oh, the Algol's star chart. Star chart. Let me just find it in this Before book. I die. <laughs> oh, the toxin's really working its way through. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at it. All right. So it works out that way. Sure. Rip. Ooh. So why, why didn't you just write the name of your kid <laughs> on a piece of paper, like put it in your mouth or something? I don't right? know. Right? Yeah. So Dr. Blaine's son is going to like beat Pearson to death. Oh. And Batman's like, don't do it. Let, let me do it. No, he's like, let. you should have let him do it because that's Batman's MO. Right. Yes, yes. Beat him to death. Uh, I found out who did it. Would yeah. you like he to He sneaks into his son's <laughs> room. Pearson's the one who did it. And then just sits there and watches as he beats him to death. I'm not going to kill you, but I don't have to stop this guy from killing you. No! <laughs> so then he goes, uh, He goes, no, let him live with his guilt. Oh. Because Pearson does feel really bad. Ah. Why? Does he? He, he? he poisoned him. He says he feels bad. He, uh, yes. Oh, because he needed money? Yeah, it was real bad. Yeah. He was in a bad state. So anyway, uh, Gordon's like, yo, Batman, you look like you've been through the, through the ringer. Batman's like, yep. He's like, you want to talk about it? Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. So then Batman goes to the to the roof of a building and takes off his mask. And he's like, "No, nah, I'm Batman." And then uh, Talia uh, comes to term with her child, and then she gives it up for adoption. What? Oh, yeah. So she lied totally. specifically to get him back on the case. Yes. Oh snap! Yeah, and she leaves. Uh, she leaves the baby on the doorstep of an orphanage with the necklace that Batman gave her. Oh. Hmm. Does that ever come back around? So here's the thing about that is that uh, Grant Morrison created Damien. Yes. Based off of Son of the Demon. Oh. The problem is he didn't really read the Son of the Demon as admitted in open interviews that he's conducted before. So when he refers to Son of the Demon as the formation and, and origination of, 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 of Damien. He's thinking Damien is the Son of the Demon. Yes. Well, he's all, he's like, Damien's the son of the demon, and indeed the kid mm-hmm. that, is up, that is up for a, it's a It's a play on words. Batman's the son of Ra's al Ghul, the son yeah. he never had, and the baby is the son of Batman, who would be the rightful heir of the demon. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe Batman's a demon, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Point is, there are two sons of the demons, and they're the kid and Batman. The total well, people technically Batman. But Grant Morrison wanted to do a story about Batman having a kid. And he's like, oh, I know, or I kind of remember that there was a comic book about Batman having a kid. And I want to do the Ra's al Ghul, like, Talia stuff, so I'm just going to refer to that. So he gets, like, a whole bunch of details wrong, and he doesn't remember a lot of stuff about it, but, like, like he doesn't remember that she gives it up for adoption. Right, she has no idea where... So instead, in, in the reformed continuity, uh, she doesn't give the kid up for adoption, just has the kid, and then the kid is raised by the League of Assassins. Oh. Now, what's funny about that is... Uh, Grant Morrison's explanation for why it doesn't make sense and why it doesn't work is because Superboy punched reality in for the crisis. That's his answer. In fact, I think in an interview he says that Superboy reality punch really helped out a lot of editors and me. I'm like, you lazy son of a bitch. Yeah. The book takes like maybe 40 minutes to read. Okay. Well, Does Damien at least have the necklace? 
No. <laughs> if he doesn't remember the kid was given up for adoption yeah, at the end, that he doesn't. He doesn't even get the countries right. He thinks they. He thinks the story took place in the desert because some Ra's al Ghul stories have taken place in the desert before. Yeah, this was a snowy wasteland. Yeah, yeah, in a mountain. No. Wow. Well, so it was deserted. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget, Batman was married to Talia Al Ghul, and technically still is, I guess. Yeah, in her wasn't country it? No. Anyway, well, so. I mean, unless she's like, I need to be alone forever, and that's how you get and a I divorce. Think, I think yeah, Rage could probably, country, I say, go away forever, and, and that's the annulment. Yeah. yeah, I mean, probably. I'm sure it's annulled. I, I you know, maybe Grant Morrison. My country, probably. if you conceive a child and give birth and then give it up for adoption, that annuls the marriage. So right. It's gone. Well, in my country, once that happens, uh, also I'm entitled to all of your stuff. Oh, so Bruce, uh, cough it up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll see you next week. <laughs>